Hello, everybody. Cheryl Echeverria here at Echeverria Travel. And today is October 20th, 2023. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about planning your travel, especially for those with special needs and disabilities. Um, some of you may not know that I do offer this. But if you have a mobility disability, uh, you're legally blind, you're obese, uh, you have food allergies, you get food restrictions. Um, and this is for adult travelers only. If you need bed lifts, if you need wheelchairs and scooters and oxygen and all that, uh, we're here to help you arrange that and help you plan for that. So. Uh, this is going to be a multi-discussion day of so going over day by day, let's say, of things you should start doing planning when you want to take a trip, whether it's with a Chivari Travel as a group or with your own friends and family, okay? Especially with those, let's start at the beginning. Many, many people contact me, whether you have a disability or not, and they want to know, I want to go on a trip. Where can you send me? Well, uh, that that's a very hard thing to do because we all have likes and dislikes. We all have things we love to do and not like to do. Some people like the cold. Some people like the hot. Some people want to stay in the United States. People don't want to get a passport. You know, all that comes into play and what you should really be doing. And this is for day one to write down what kind of demographics you want, meaning is it international or here in the States? That's number one. Number two, what is your realistic budget? Because you've got to remember, it's air. It's you're uh, getting back and forth, whether it's an Uber once you're on the ground or you're going to need other transportation, especially those of us with disabilities, make sure you have a van that's accessible no matter where you're going. Um, and what do you like to do? I mean, you know, some people just want to, I just want to go sit on a beach all day. Well, that's fine. Most of my clients like to go out and explore, try the food, see the local entertainment, you know, get involved with the locals. You're, they don't want to be treated as a tourist. They want to they want to, you know, get their hands dirty. They want to learn how to cook the food and where to eat the food and go to museums and historians. Maybe you have ancestors in that destination. And uh, I like to remind you when they say, oh, I want to go to the Caribbean. And I mentioned certain islands there. Their biggest thing is, well, I want to go to the Bahamas only. I don't want to go anywhere else. Well, there are a lot of islands in the Caribbean. Um, the Bahamas is not part of the United States, so remember, you need a passport to get there, okay? So anyway, we're just on the day one of planning it out. And we can help you do that. Like, what do you really like to do? What would you really like to do? And don't put your disability there, because we all know with the right tour guide and tour operators, you could do almost anything. With, and especially our obese clients as well, or those blind clients I have, even those with mobility issues. I mean, you need to know what your limits are for traveling, okay? Some people are older, they just want to, you know, just explore, see the town, see the museum, go out to eat, you know, hang with the family, whatever that it could be. Uh, or you want to go to the beach, but your wheelchair won't get you there. You know, we, we have many options for you if you need oxygen. Uh, don't think about the food. Don't think about what kind of weather do you want. Do you want warm weather? Do you like skiing? Whether it's water skiing or snow skiing? Do you want to see the mountains? Do you want what is in your bucket list? What's in your head? And write it down. That's the first thing you should be thinking of when you're planning a trip. The budget will come in later. You may have, you know, one thought of budget and it might be higher or lower. 
And I will also gonna recommend books sooner than later because if you know if you want to go out of the country, you want to go to the national parks, you want to go to a certain time of year, whether it's June, which is honeymoon, destination weddings, graduation season, kids are out of school, teachers are out of school. Summertime, some people don't like the heat in the summer, so you want to maybe go to Alaska versus going to Florida. You know, there, there's other places to go in the world. You can go to Switzerland or New Zealand or, or uh, Austria or other places around the world that you may not think of that, you know, and people say, oh, well, that's too expensive. I can't afford that again. Let's sit down and talk about it because it might be affordable for you to do if you plan it out far enough and do payment plans. I've always said that Nelson and I don't go anywhere without doing a payment plan. Yes, I'm a travel agent. No, I don't travel for free. No, even if I got a discount somewhere, I still have to pay for my air, for ground transportation, for the excursions. You know, I might get a discount for selling that product, but I don't get this no this thing as a free ride anymore. And haven't been for at least over 20 years because travel agents like myself, we have to work for what we earn, just like everybody else. If we want the benefits of, of going someplace and offering something to our clients that we want to go, hey, we got to we gotta work our butts off to get there. And remember, travel agents, we are small business owners. You may not see us brick and mortar anymore, but we're still here for you. Remember, I offer not only phone, but texting and emailing. We also offer Zoom and Google and Skype chats as well for you. And if you have fans and family that want to join in, we can set up a group Zoom call. Or if you're local enough, I live here in Lake Wales and Polk County. And, you know, if you have enough people that, excuse me, that, You'd like us to come and visit you and sit down and, and do trip planning for you. We will do that as well. So remember, at Shaveria Travel, 631-456-5394, 407-910-6469, reservations to the ShaveriaTravel.com. And we would please appreciate you give us up to 24 hours to respond to you and not just hang up on the phone or say, you know, if you don't have time to wait for me and it's a hurry and whatever it is, then, you know, I understand that. But if it's something that can wait for me to get back to you, you contacted us for a reason, we would really love to. And we enjoy planning travel for everyone. Remember, we do adult-only travel. And check us out on Facebook. We have two groups on Facebook. We have a Shaveria Travel Special Needs and Disabled Adult Travelers page. And then we have a Shaveria Travelers page. And that one is for those that would like to join in and group travel with me and Nelson. We're starting planning many trips for 2024. We'd love to hear from you of where you like to go, what you'd like to do. So that information will be in the description below. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and like and comment. We love you. Take care. God bless. And God bless the United States of America.